Hello creative friends, this is Joy. So I decided to do another drawing on one of the watercolor backgrounds that I created. Um, I will put a link um, to the watercolor backgrounds video that I did showing the different ways of doing creating these watercolor backgrounds. I decided that um, I wanted to do some drawings um, on some watercolor paper but I wanted to um, have backgrounds created ahead of time so that when I decided to do a drawing, I could just grab one of the backgrounds and then, you know, do a drawing on it without having to do the background, wait for it to dry, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I decided that I wanted to uh, put flamingos on this particular watercolor background. And I found um, a picture of some flamingos um, that I'm using as a reference. And uh, right now I'm just using my pencil to do a um, outline, a rough sketch of the flamingos so that I can get the proportions correct. And then I take my pen and go over the drawing that I just created of the flamingos and uh, fill in the drawing with the pen and then start um, filling in the other um, darker shadows and shapes and like there on his beak where it's black I just used a pen to blacken uh, the bottom part of his beak of the beak on this particular flamingo and then I just go around the rest of the drawing that I created with the pen um, to get this uh, flamingo on the drawing the watercolor kind of background here that I created and again like I just said I used the pen also to do some hashing and shadowing on the flamingo and so that's what I'm doing here um, I really like the way that these flamingos turned out um, I've been wanting to actually do um, some kind of a drawing or painting of flamingos for a while but uh, just haven't and so uh, um, for whatever reason and so I was really happy to finally get the opportunity to do um, a drawing of some flamingos um, I live in Florida and it, it's not officially the state bird but it sure seems like it because they're <laughs> There are flamingos everywhere. People like to put the plastic flamingos in their yard, which I don't have that. I don't go that far. And people will even paint their houses the flamingo pink, but um, which my house is not flamingo pink either. I'm not that crazy about flamingos, but I do think they're, they're really pretty birds. And um, so I'm really excited to get, you know, to draw them. So I just continue with um, my using this pen to just, like I said, add in um, any shadowing that needs to be added on this bird. And then here in a minute, I go to the other bird that I drew on this um, particular uh, drawing. And I really like the way, like I was saying, that this turned out. I did several drawings already on these watercolor backgrounds that I created. I did a tiger, which I did not record. Um, the day that I did these watercolor backgrounds, I was so excited. You know, I was videotaping, you know, the watercolor backgrounds that I was doing and putting them aside to dry. And um, by the time I got done with them all and doing the video I was so excited about getting them creating them and about getting started on adding something to them that I grabbed one of the blue ones and created the tiger create uh, did a drawing of a tiger on it and didn't even think until after the fact that you know I should have videotaped that too because the tiger <laughs> turned out really cool um, and um, I did a second vi I did a second drawing which was um, of a zebra and I did record that one which was the last video that I uh, posted 
and then I'm doing this one um, as well of the flamingos that I decided to record and post and basically they're all kind of the same concept um, I just used a pencil to draw the animals so that they are you know the right shape and proportion and then I use my black pen to go around um, and fill you know uh, trace around it and fill in any shadowing and and uh, dark areas and then um, the tiger I use some watercolor pens to fill in the coloring for him um, and then I use a white signo pen to fill in any whites or highlights so here I just grab my watercolor pens that I recently bought and I'm having so much fun with these um, they're, um, I just love them, and they don't completely cover up the background, but I'm okay with that, you know, I kind of like the background showing through, I didn't want it to be completely covered up, and in my other drawings, uh, especially the last one that I did of the zebra, I purposely left the background showing through the zebra's white stripes, and I think that the drawing turned out pretty cool and I felt like it was more interesting that way but I do, um, do like the way this one turned out you know with the coloring and so here I'm just using a, a darker orange color to try to get some coloring on these flamingos and I couldn't get the, the pinks because they have a lot of pink in them and the background is pink as you can see there or a pinkish color and I do take a pink um, watercolor pen and try to go over that part of the bird to try to um, get it to be pink but it I don't know didn't turn out as pink as I was wanting it to I guess but I finally was okay with that I, I, you know, here I you see I pulled a tried a couple different pens and finally I settled on this one and I'm like well this is about as good as it's gonna get <laughs> so I just go with it and um, and just yeah leave it at that so here I'm also using I tried to leave a couple of areas um, where I didn't color the um, couple of the highlighted areas where I, I just colored in with that pink and then I do the same thing on this other flamingo. I used a darker orange um, color to color them in. And then I left some areas where the highlights were to um, fill in with the pink. And then you'll see here um, at the end that I use a white Signo pen to even add um, other more highlights to these birds. Um, I'm always uh, not sure about how much um, to show in my recordings like I don't know if people want to see it from start to finish or if you know um, I guess if they don't want to see it from start to finish they can kind of skip ahead and skip a lot of this um, but I know some people do like to see you know from start to finish and the whole process I know I like to see you know how artists um, create things and do drawings and coloring and, and all of that um, so I probably have you know my videos longer I guess than some people would like but again you know I feel like that you know people can skip ahead um, which I've done in, in videos before um, when I, you know, felt like that. Oh, well, you know, I, I see what they're doing here so I can skip ahead a little bit. And that is my beautiful clock. Here I grab the black watercolor pen to fill in the black areas a little bit better than what I was able to with just the regular pen that I was using um, it just wasn't dark enough for me so I grabbed the black pen to do that and which I did like it better 
And then uh, let's see, oh yeah, um, try to put some yellow in the eyes. And some highlighting on that one with the pink. And then I grab my white pen and his, the bill um, of these birds is, is white. And so I wanted to um, put the white in the beaks of these birds. and add some other highlights uh, on the eyes and on their bodies because um, the just using the lighter pink didn't seem to be enough of a highlight and I used my finger as you saw there to kind of smudge out some of it a little bit um, where I felt you know that it needed to be smudged and it went on, goes on really bright, but I noticed that as it dries, it's not quite as bright. So that made me happy. And like in this, the wings and stuff, like I said, I couldn't get them as pink as I would have liked to. So I just go over it with the white and add more highlights. And then I was happier with it um, that way. And I would just do a little, like, little dashes or whatever tick marks I don't know what you call them to add in all the highlighting I do uh, did you know as you can see sp speed up the video I try to speed it up because um, it would just it'd be like a 45 I think it took me about 45 minutes to create this drawing um, and it's like when I'm drawing I just kind of get in a zone and I just go you know it's you know very calming and relaxing and you know I just really enjoy drawing and um, but I think um, after it was all said and done I believe that um, the, when I put this video together it was like 45 minutes long so of course I had to speed it up to shorten it as much as possible to um, be able to show how I created these but not have it so long that you're sitting through a you know such a long video so here I'm just adding some last minute touches to the birds um, if you like this video you can give me a thumbs up um, you can also leave a comment or you can subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more and like I said I'm just adding some last minute touches to the birds to where I um, Feel like that they just need a little bit more and that is pretty much the drawing for today thank you for stopping by and we'll talk to you guys later talk to you later bye bye